اب میں ایک ایسی شخصیت کو دعوت دے رہا ہوں جن کا آنکر اس پاک ساتھ سے پہلے بھی کیا ہے جناب راجہ محمد فیاض خان صاحب جو الحمدللہ ایک معزز جج کا عہدہ لے چکے ہیں اور باقاعدہ انہیں ایوارڈ بھی دیا گیا ہے آستانہ آلیہ چورا شریف کے خادم بھی ہیں علاقہ رائے دہانی سے تعلق ہے اور میرا بھی آبائی کام رائے دہانی ہے دو نام کو نام دے رہا تو میں بڑے فقر کے ساتھ حضور تبلہ بابا جی سرکار کے حکم کے مطابق انہیں دعوت دے گا ذرا ان کو فقر کے لانا پڑے گا اس لیے کہ ظاہری بینائی میں تو کمزوری ہے مگر باطنی بھی جو بینائی ہے وہ بالکل عہد روشن کی طرح ہے نارہ تکبیر نارہ رسالہ آستانہ لیا جوراشی Her words are something that will always be in my mind 
and who stuff always reminds me of them each time I ask you for his prayers, is that if that graceful and honourable lady is paid for you, who are the rest of we? And those words are these, you will go very far in a short space of time. And I can confirm to you that I was probably one of the youngest people in this country to become a judge. I was probably one of the youngest people in this country to become a legal assessor to a major healthcare regulator. I was probably very young at the age of 31 to receive the OBE. That is something that is often given to those with about 30, 40 years and a lifetime of contribution to society. I received it at the age of 31. So these are just a few examples of how Biosat has been there for me throughout my life and still is. Uh, and even if I do not get to see Biosat directly, Biosat will be the first to confirm on any application, on any interview. I've even troubled Biosat before I've gone into an interview to say, Biosat, this is a time when I need you. Uh, and his prayers and his guidance has always been available to me. My message to each and every one of you is please dedicate and devote your time to those who are guiding us correctly, and those who have done so for hundreds of years, and those who continue to make themselves available despite their age and their health for ourselves. And it's our good fortune that they do so. And, and I go on to say this, that you are important members of society, you are ambassadors of our religion, and you can only be doing that job properly and faithfully if you know enough about it. Education knows no bounds, and in my advice to you, each and every one of you is please benefit from the guidance and the spiritual awareness that our spiritual leaders are able to give us. Their spiritual wealth and educational wealth is limitless. It's us who are limited if we do not take advantage of it. Benefit from their guidance and their prayers. Uh, in terms of worldliness, please educate yourselves and become proper, full members of society, whether that be in the professions, the legal profession, which is my own. I spent 18 years as a barrister, and now I serve as a full-time judge. There are others, teachers, doctors, who make a very valued contribution to society and indeed their own personal ambitions are satisfied and those of their family. And in my view, each and every one of you has the capability of doing that or indeed your children do. Please keep them engaged. Please socialize with each other and please ensure that we all continue to benefit from that which you've had in the past which is religious stewardship, companionship, and an appropriate society in which we can all live safely and happily and together. So ultimately, my basic message is this. Please benefit from what we have on this stage, because it's beyond words. Thank you very much indeed, Islam.